It is the 9th of the 4th, 2013, and this is a thank you video and a little gear um, show off for those folks who are interested in what's going on with my Appalachian Trail hike. Now, I'm going to tell you in November I had no idea the trail even existed. Clueless, absolutely clueless. Um, my wife announced after checking on Facebook one day that, that my brother was going on the Appalachian Trail and I was coming with him. See, he needed somebody to go with him. Well, my brother's a diabetic and the doctors, needless to say, have said uh, he's probably not going to have his legs in the long run, so he wants to get this done uh, while he can. So for over the next four years, uh, we're going to attempt to hike the entire Appalachian Trail. Uh, this year we're planning on 568 miles. Uh, we're going to start in Springer, Georgia and uh, head north until we can't head no more and uh, pick it up next year kind of thing. I was all set and ready to go. Went out and got all my equipment. I will show you that. Um, tickets to and from, I mean, I'm, I was set to go. Um, my oldest dog, Cleo, not Freya, not the one you've been seeing on my videos all the time, uh, my little brown dog, Cleo, uh, she got sick suddenly on the 27th. Three trips to the vet, and um, insane amounts of money later, uh, we did have to put her down. Seems her intestines um, twisted inside out and ruptured, and uh, at eight and a half years old, um, she left us, and a uh, big hole in our heart. I could not recover uh, financially for the trip with less than two months to go. I'm leaving um, here on the 18th, I should be on the trail by the 20th of May and uh, up Springer Mountain for the official start on the 21st. Um, vet bills gouged deeply into my trip fund. Uh, of course, all the vets want their money up front. Um, there's no insurance or anything like that. Um, so it was extremely hard for me to recover on my own um, what I lost. So I put out a shout out, you know, hey, I've got my gear, I've got the food, um, if you want to get me a cup of coffee and a cheeseburger, um, I would much highly appreciate that. Thank you again for everybody who has donated so far. Um, I completed, I've got all my trail food, um, all the equipment's up to date, and uh, we're ready to go, I will show you that. Um, I, again, really what I need right now is some coffee and cheeseburger money. Um, so if you would like to help, please, please, um, you know, there's a PayPal link down below, and there's one up on my channel temporarily. I will be taking that down as I leave for the trip. So if you want to help me out, that would be great. So let me show you some of the stuff I got. Oh, excuse the camera. Eh, let me zoom out here. Wow, you really can't see. So I've got the bear canister. And I know that's extra weight, that's an extra three pounds, but I don't have to worry about squirrels, raccoons, bears, anything in my food. Behind that are nine weeks of drop ship food for my trip. Taking my rag rag, thanks Gary, and that's that right there. That is a rag with a, a rim sewed directly onto it, multifunctional, great, great camping tool. Of course my Australian bush hat. I've had that thing forever. Uh, change clothes, and I am going to wear a back brace. My pack weighs with water, 44 pounds, so I'm at 40 pounds, um, just the basics. And of course I'm taking things I really shouldn't take. There's a nice, of my hitchhiking sign, I'm not homeless, I'm an AT hiker. Of course the camera I'll be using, my Android. Electronics, I uh, got some fire starters in here. Some hotties for my feet uh, when I'm sleeping. Tent stakes, I got a tripod. These are great. This is an emergency bivy for two persons. Now this is gonna be my sleeping bag instead of sleeping bag liner. It is a wonderful, not very noisy at all. Of course, two space blankets. I'll show you a picture when I got my hammock all set up. Going with the uh, Skeeter Beater Pro. Uh, for the money, I couldn't beat it. 400 pound weight limit. This is the Cadillac of hammocks on the trail. Uh, 
mosquito netting for my face. Got a liter metal bottle and the, the cup to cook with. Wet ones and toilet paper, of course. Uh, of course, everybody laughs at the trowels, but I'm taking mine. I got an all tool, everything in it. It's nice little Gerber all tool, so any contingencies as far as packs, whatever. Uh, my coat. Now this is a um, it's a good winter coat, um, waterproof on the jacket with a um, poly um, liner. I'm going to use it as a pillow and of course the hood. Um, little tricks you learn when you're doing homework on your hammocks. This, since I'm using the Skeeter Beater Pro, it's a ten and a half foot hammock hang, so I needed a a long tarp. So I went with a modified Coleman. Uh, it's 12 foot long by 7 foot wide. Now normally this tarp is designed for uh, their 12 by 12 sunshade uh, freestanding kind of thing and these are the walls you can buy for that. I uh, went ahead and treated that for water and this is going to make a great great tarp for my Skeeter Beater uh, without overdoing you know a big 12 foot by 12 foot tarp. The backpack I went with was the Kilty uh, Classic 4500. Uh, I know this only gets out by Shields is the only place you can find this. I got it on clearance. Um, and again, I didn't think I needed more than 4500 uh, cubic inches or centimeters or whatever to uh, haul my stuff. I've got extra room with this thing. I really do. And uh, it's it, again, it's for comfort. The, the back adjusts the whole bit. So uh, it's a really great backpack. I'm going to carry the weight. I don't have a problem with that. Long johns, uh, extra underwear and socks, and I got a pair of swim shorts in there, and a shirt. And again, I've got, so I'll have like three shirts, two pairs of pants. Now, I'm not going to use a sleeping bag. Uh, this is an extra large camping towel. And the reason I'm going with the extra large camping towel, because that's going to pull double duty, uh, that's going to help keep my feet warm in the hammock uh, at night and in the early morning. And everybody knows what this is. This is my uh, uh, peace and love flag that I've been flying for years on YouTube. Um, I'm going to use this as a sheet. And again, it's going to pull double duty. You might just see me flying this off a mountaintop uh, one crazy morning. My under insulation for my hammock, um, because when the breeze cuts below you, uh, it'll take that heat right off you and it'll suck the heat right out of you. So I'm using uh, one of these car... Uh, windshield guards that everybody uses and again that'll keep me nice and toasty on the underside and I'm going with the wool blanket I know it's a little heavy but I don't have to worry about this getting wet um, I can throw it down as a ground tarp and it has multiple multiple uses so I went ahead since I'm in the hammock um, I'm gonna bypass the sleeping bag altogether and kinda use a you know I got the my sheet my blanket and my blanket kind of thing. Um, I think I'll be all right. And if it gets too cold, of course, I've got these emergency bivvies. These rock. Uh, other than that, I will be hiking the trail in Vibram Five Finger Shoes. Now these are the speeds. Uh, these feel more like tennis shoes. And again, uh, you get a lot more comfort. You get a lot more action um, as far as I can feel everything. So to prevent slippage, knee injury, uh, that kind of thing, these are very good shoes uh, to where I'm going to put those to the test for 500 miles. I originally bought a pair of these, I forget the name of them, uh, as my water socks or as my camp shoes kind of thing, like when I'm crossing rivers and that kind of thing. Uh, and these are really great. And I love these so much, I went out and I got a pair of uh, running the running variety just to take on the trail and these are ultralight shoes um, again I've been putting them to the test they've been doing me very well probably the most comfortable pairs of shoes I've ever worn now I advise you to wear socks with these because they get stinky oh my if you don't wear socks definitely definitely wear socks with those uh, a little bit of vinegar if you soak them in vinegar these are machine washable kind of thing you can get that stink out but I don't want to do that every week and again, that's just uh, kind of the stuff. Uh, solar charger, you know, 10 stakes. There's a bunch of my journal and uh, my electronic stuff all in here and my headlamp. 
extra pair of glasses, uh, a little bit of first aid stuff, mostly foot care. And again, you know, that's it. That's going to be it. And one final thing. I was watching a, a video on, on a, a guide, and he was saying to grab one of these air horns for like the little, little boat air horns to kind of give it a little toot and chase the bears off because they'll be scared of that noise. But I'm not too overly sure about using it yet. I'm going to carry it anyway. It could be fun. Uh, we'll see what happens. And finally, uh, of course, I've got some comfort. These are all clips with magnets. And again, that's just to get things done where I got to go and I'm living in a hammock. So everything's got to hang, right? But other than that, that's about it. I'd like to thank again everybody who's helped out. And if you're going to help out, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, if you got any uh, gear ideas, I'm kind of limited in uh, what I'm going to take. And again, I'm comfortable at 44 pounds. It's 6 pounds lighter uh, than my goal weight that I had set for myself to leave. We're ready to go. Thanks a lot, everybody. Enjoy weekend.